It is day 26 of breaking Skyblock with pay to win. Yesterday, we got just a little bit closer to completing the solo floor seven. We made it to the second phase, although on the second phase, I did happen to fail pretty miserably. But today, I'm feeling confident. I think today is gonna be the day we finally do it. I'm gonna knock on wood to not jinx myself, but I think today is gonna be the day. But first, we have to get our daily tasks done. So to start us off here today, we of course have to get the fairy souls going, and I'm deciding I'm just gonna break down and we're just gonna finish up the rest of the areas for the fairy souls and turn them in today. Cause I think I could really benefit from the little extra stat boost um, in my solo floor seven attempts today. So I think today's a good day to do it. So I'm just gonna go through here in order. I don't know where, maybe these are like, are these miscellaneous? Are these just in like dungeon and stuff? I'm not sure about that. We'll start with the farming islands here. We have 20 over there. Of course though, I'm also not gonna wanna show a compilation of me doing over 100 fairy souls on this video today. So we're gonna do what we did yesterday. I'm going to clap and we are going to cut to me being done with those. And just like that, all the fairy souls, except for the miscellaneous ones that we're not gonna get, should now be complete. If I check my stats beforehand, like what's the one we get a lot of health? I'm at 1809 to start health here, 884 strength, 673 intelligence. Let's see where we're at once I turn all these in. Okay, I'll do it. We'll, we'll do a damage check before and after the fairy souls, I guess. I need to make sure I don't change my pet or anything either. I'll just test with like the zombie sword here. So 32K, 32K. And so we can see like a percentage difference when I actually turn it in. All right, here we go. Let's start turning these things in. Look at how much my health has gone up already though. Oh my God. Okay, and this should be the last one I can turn in there. Boom. We actually got a decent amount of strength there for sure. Yeah, we got a lot of strength and health. That's actually a surprising amount. Let me go do a damage test again. 33K. So even though that's only like a 1,000 damage increase. It's like a three or 4% damage increase though, right? That's actually pretty significant. We take that, that's a W. We are not done with our daily stuff yet. I actually need to go back to the Crimson Isle real quick and get my three heavy pearls for the day. So let's do that really quickly. All right, and there we go. Another three heavy pearls. We're up to 15 extra in total here. We're doing good on these, we're doing good. I think that's gonna honestly be enough for when we actually need to use them. So I'm glad I've been doing these every single day. Now for our next daily task, we of course need to continue maxing out our 192 cookies every single day so that I can afford to buy the items that are gonna cost me billions of coins when I finally do complete this solo floor seven. Um, first thing though, on the bright side, a lot of my bizarre order stuff that I put up yesterday have sold. Oh wait, my, my, my Reaper Peppers still haven't sold. The recom sold though. Let's see, did all the booster cookies I have listed sell? Like I said yesterday, I, I messed up and made like way too many different orders, but if they all sold, yeah, okay, wow. So we're up to 715 million coins in the purse, and that still doesn't include these Reaper Peppers. I just can't get these Reaper Peppers to sell. They're like another extra 100 mil here. At this point, I'm considering eating them. I I'm gonna attempt to make a sell offer for these one more time. If they don't sell at this price, I think I'm just gonna eat them. I'm just gonna take the L and the 200 million coins and I'm just gonna eat them. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the high pixel store here as always and spend another $400 on Skyblock Gems. So as always, please, if you're buying anything on the high pixel store, use code RAGETRAIN, help prevent me from going broke. I would really appreciate it, thank you. My gems are in. Let me go ahead and clear out my inventory a little bit here. And we will start um, mass selling cookies. Wait, I'm at the daily limit already and I still have 11,000 gems left over. Maybe I don't need to be buying the 400 bucks every day because I'm actually ending up with some gems left over. All right, there we go though. Um, let's see, are any of these selling as I'm talking here? Looks like 15 mil of them sold already. Not so bad, not too bad there. And then of course, we also need to go ahead and do our daily RGB skin price check. Let's see where we're at currently. Yeah, 10 mil. I think this is probably where they're just gonna kind of just sit at now is 10 mil, which isn't, isn't the end of the world. We can still cash in our last nine for 90 mil. I'm just gonna continue holding them until I have to spend the coins and then we'll just sell them all at once there. I don't really think it's gonna be worth holding on to them for much longer because the price seems to just be going down a little more each and every single day. I don't, I don't really see it going up from here anymore, to be honest with you. Okay, but that does it for all of our daily stuff today. Now it just comes down to any changes we wanna make before hopping back into another solo floor or seven attempt. Now, obviously yesterday the phase two solo did not go very well. And I'm thinking one of the major things I wanna change for that is to put my stat tuning points 
into speed instead because we're gonna need a little bit more speed in dungeons to make that happen so that'll give me an extra let's see where can i see that that's an extra 77 speed although in dungeons i think all of this gets cut by a third so it's really only going to equate to an extra like 20 to 30 speed in dungeons but that's still something extra so it should be helpful i also wanted to go ahead and fully max out my essence shop on like things that could help me survive or just do more damage right so let's go ahead and do that like all the cheap ones like extra intelligence might as well you know i'm gonna need to buy a bunch of undead essence for this how much is undead essence going for okay seven how much would 70k undead essence be 52 mil do we do it all right whatever 70 000 undead essence for 52 million coins <laughs> That's expensive. Let me at least be smart about it. So I'm going to try and buy all the ones that are a little bit on the cheaper side to start. My guys are expensive. They're all expensive now. What is going to give me more survivability? 10 more defense or 25 more health? Probably 10 more defense, right? Oh, I can just get both. Okay, wait, now we're out of essence. Can I get another intelligence? Oh, I was able to max out intelligence there. Honestly, that's not bad. We maxed out all of the stats except health essence and critical essence, but literally... Just getting these two would cost an extra 50 mil at this point. So I think I'm going to stop with maxing out the undead essence shop there. Let's move over to the to the wither essence shop and see if there's anything else to max out here. I see the wither essence shop is more so just like small stat boosts overall for the game, not just for dungeons. The speed one honestly is probably useful for me though. So I think I'm going to try and max that one out. So I think I'll go ahead. I'm going to do 10k wither essence for 17 mil and we'll just see what we can get with this. All right, I'm going to try and max out... I'm just gonna try and wait i can only get two speed that's it wait i might have bought too much i guess i'll go defense next okay um i feel like strength is also kind of valuable i'll put a couple into there maybe, maybe i can just get all of these actually okay i'm out of wither essence honestly this shop isn't as useful i think i'll stop there but we got a couple little more stat bonuses there i i think i'm pretty satisfied with this being my version of max net i think that's good enough i'll put this in video for context ultra connor in chat is offering me 400 dollars if i buy a hyperion right now how much is how much would i need to buy one right now the lowest bin is 1.2 billion coins so right now i barely have a little bit more than half of that at 663 mil we're already maxed out on cookies today so i can't get any more coins from that what can we do to get more coins i guess some of my booster cookies have sold here so we can claim these what does that bring me up to 823 mil Oh, you know, we can sell my RGB skins. We can sell the my last nine RGB skins for 10 mil a pop, I guess. I, I guess it is worth. If he gives me 400 bucks, that basically pays for like, what? A third of the Hyperion? Not a bad deal. Then I only have to pay for like two thirds of it myself. <laughs> okay, there we go. All the RGB skins should be listed now. Five of them sold already. We'll claim those coins. That brings me up to 871 mil. You know, I'm just going to insta sell the cookies. I'm going to insta sell the rest of the cookies we have, and we'll see what that gets us to. Wait, we're going up. We're over a billion. We're over a billion coins. Wait, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're up to 1.1 billion there, and I have some in my pickup stash now. Slash pickup stash. That's it. We're at 1.193 billion. Wait, did any more of the RGB sell? Okay, the rest of them sold. 1.233 billion. I think we have enough. I think I could literally use all my coins and buy it right now. We have enough for the first three here. Dono first? Wait, that is true. That is true. Cheapest one is duped? How do you guys know? Okay, who's the guy selling this one? Wait, this guy is... He doesn't have a rank. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna... Nah, that's sus. I'm not buying it from this guy. I am not buying it from this guy. This guy's net worth is lower than the price of the thing he's selling. He's Kata 25 with one floor seven run. I am not buying a hype from this guy. No shot I'm buying a hype. Uh, nah. <laughs> no way. I do not trust that one. I do not trust that one. How about this one here? This is the only other reasonable one. Jonic 1X. This one's at least a little... This one's more reasonable. There we go. Kata 44... 1100 floor seven run if we're gonna buy one we'll buy this one. Oh my god connor with the 200 dollar dono all right well you know what <laughs> it's not quite 400 bucks but he literally donated 300 dollars today anyway i think that's fair enough we'll buy it i already have the coins anyway there it is 1.22 billion coins i'm done sitting here debating it we're doing it. We already have the coins. We are not We are literally going to not be able to use it until after we complete the solo floor seven, but I guess it'll be good motivation for us to complete it. It's done. 
It's done. I'm down to 13 million coins in the purse. Hopefully, this thing is not duped, but here it is. Heroic Hyperion, 1.2 billion coins. That probably just cost me close to $1,000 IRL. That was probably disgustingly expensive. I don't even want to know. I'm too scared I'm going to salvage it on accident if it's in my inventory. So I'm going to keep it up in that corner right there. All right, there we go. Hey, you know what? It's good motivation to have there to motivate me to complete this solo floor seven today. So let's get it done. Let's do it. SBE is saying my net worth is now 6.4 billion coins. <laughs> Anyways, though, I think we're all prepped and ready to go. I think it's time to attempt another one of these solo floor sevens. So let me buy my dungeon seven potion and let's hope we can get through phase two this time. Drink up my potion with the jellyfish pet as always. Switch over to the blaze and we should be good to go. Also, if we get the bomb diffuse puzzle today, I know how to do it now. We'll be good to go. So... Yeah, hopefully I'm ready for this. Should be an interesting experience. All right, there we go. Blood room done. About a 20 minute clear there. Not too bad, not too bad. Could have been better, could have been worse. Blessing of life 24 and blessing of power 19. I think that should be decent for us. Let's hope we can get a clean phase one here. If we can get a clean phase one into the phase two, I'll be feeling a lot better about stuff. I'm gonna go straight up for it. Oh wait, I didn't get that. Let's, let's not panic, let's not panic here. Didn't get the start I wanted. Let's just reset, get a plasma flux down, and keep calm. We'll wait for him to go into the phase, and we'll just go base from. We'll go from there. Okay, a little bit of lag there. There we go. Crystal number one. Got it. Got it. Got it. There we go. There we go. Okay, now we have to get him into the laser. Is he in there? He's in there. Okay, there we go. First phase done. First phase done. I'm getting beamed right now, though. Oh my god! We just got destroyed. We just got absolutely melted. I didn't even have time to switch to the Bonzo mask. That was going so well. I I'm honestly, it's okay though. That, that was still a decent warm up run. We'll hop right back into another one. Oh wait, we did get one. It's bomb defuse. My mortal enemy. <laughs> it's time for redemption. So throw on the young dragon armor. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Then he did. Then he did like this. Wait, what? Uh oh. It's not gonna work for me, sadly. I can I don't know what the, I don't know what the pig pet one is guys here silent death it oh it's on cooldown for too long it's on cooldown for too long it, this thing has a one minute cooldown I don't know yeah dang it okay well all right well we failed this bomb diffuse so I guess I'm gonna have to I'm gonna be trying it with a little bit less blessings could be unlucky here there we go two of two let's move the plasma flux over here now I gotta try to get him in the laser can we get him to go over here oh there we go we got him we got him we got him I'm gonna swap the Bonzo mask on. There we go. He's gonna spam me out. Okay, back to Diamond Head. We didn't even need the Bonzo mask there. Oh, wow, that was some bad lag there. Wait, maybe I can still get it? Oh, I got it, I got it, let's go. There we go, there we go. All right, we just gotta bring him back over here. I can even Bonzo mask now just to be safe, I guess. I just seem to come this way a little bit. There we go, we got him, we got him. Phase two, here I come. Okay, and I learned yesterday, you guys told me I want to do these ones over here instead. Okay, let's clear out these guys over here. So what I want to do is I want to utilize, I want to utilize when he goes into that storm phase, actually. When he goes into the, the middle phase or whatever, I actually want to be over at that pad. And I'm just going to wither cloak through it is the idea. So we're actually going to stay over here, right? And then what I'm going to do is wither cloak through this here. We start lowering this here. No! Okay, that did not go according to plan. Oh no, oh no. Okay, I think we're good. Oh my god. Yeah, I disabled Wither Cloak because I thought I was going to be fine because I was under the pillar and then I got knocked out and beamed immediately. All right. We go again. We go again. We go again. We got this. We can get to phase three. We can do this. We got this. We got this. Before we go in, good call. I forgot about the bomb diffuse thing. I do want to buy Shadow Fury. We can definitely do it with Pig Pet, but I just need to be able to use the Shadow Fury ability instead of the Silent Death. Because that one wasn't going to work as well. So I'm just going to buy the cheapest one here. 25. Oh, wait. I'm too poor. Wait, I can't even afford the Shadow Fury. I only have 13 mil coins. No, I forgot about this. We spent all of our money on the high period. I'm too poor. Does anyone want to buy these peppers off of me for like a, a cheaper price? The lowest price right now on the bazaar is 100 million coins. Does anyone, does anyone want to buy these peppers for, say, like 80 mil coins a pop or something? I'm putting them up on the bazaar for 90 mil a pop, 10 mil less than they're currently worth. If someone wants to buy them, they can buy them. I need the coins. If no one buy, Okay, people bought them already. 
GG, okay. <laughs> there we go. Nice, we have coins again. 20 mil less than I should have got for those things, but we have some coins now. And I can afford this Shadow Fury for 25.4 mil. There we go. Now I can finally do this stupid bomb diffused cheese, hopefully. I guess I have to actually see it work first, but we should hopefully be able to do it now. My god. Unfortunately, my next phase to attempt pretty much went just as rough as all the previous ones had. And so it was clear at this point I needed some tutoring. So I hopped into a party of experienced Floor 7 solo runners and went over to a player named Crimson's Island where the entire Floor 7 boss phase has been completely recreated. And they showed me the exact spots I should be standing at and how I should be timing everything. So hopefully from this point forward, I actually kind of know what I'm doing. So I will see you guys again tomorrow where we hopefully conquer this once and for all.